All right, I'm back, and now I'm going to put in the new capacitor. So I have some of this heat shrink here, which goes really good for the leads of the smaller capacitor. The new ones are smaller, so you want to cover the XX leads with heat shrink. So I'm going to measure it here. That's so where it was here. And needs a little heat shrink there and a little heat shrink there. So I'm going to cut little pieces here of the heat shrink. Now, some of the older capacitors had something that they call the outside foil. Let me show you. If you look at the old capacitor, do you see this, this bar here? This was called the outside foil, and that was always kind of put toward the ground. But the new capacitors, they don't, they don't use that anymore. And I'm not sure why that was. It was something to do with how the capacitor was wound. But in this case, we're just going to put the new capacitor in. And you could make it so that the, the numerical values show so you could readily see it once you put it in. Instead of burying it, you could just point it outward. So what we're going to do is put my heavy glasses back on. Clean the tip of the iron. I'm going to shove it in the hole here. Get, get it through here. go see you heat it so you could poke it through the hole like that okay now I'm going to re-solder that but I just want to get it through the hole and now I'm going to get this end secure here and I gotta re recut the heat shrink it's a little too long so I'll cut a little off of that And what I'm going to do is I'll be honest with you, I really don't really don't need the heat shrink there. It's not it's really not that long. So I'll leave the heat shrink off of that. We're going to try to bend this around here. This. There you go. Kind of going to try to make a physical physical connection on here too. So I bend it around. I think I'll do it again. Put a put a nice nice tight bend around here so it's it's on the post and hope you can see that okay but I got it on the post and I'm gonna cut off the excess wire the little lead like that okay. Now I'm going to heat it up. So best way of doing that is to try to heat everything together and then flow the solder in there. So sometimes a little little bit of solder could help transfer the heat too. So it's heating up and uh, Okay, here it goes. The solder is melting. And I 
that should do it. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is take this end here. I poke through the hole. Put a little hook on here. And what I, what I always like to do is some repair might I notice. Like if you see a radio that's been repaired like two or three times already. What the repairman did for speed was just cut the lead and they and they left the little the leads are already in here and I like what I had shown earlier in part three was just remove the leads that are in there you know heat it up and and re remove the leads I mean don't don't just cut the lead and, and let it sit in there and wrap another lead around the old lead and you get like a big ball of, of junk in there and it doesn't look good so I'm going to bend this lead around here to get like a physical connection okay that's pretty good now I'm going to heat up heat up the lead here and this is soldering a bunch of wires also in there let me clean the tip a little better on the on the iron. So the tip is now shiny. And we've got to heat everything up here. And of course the lead moves. Of course it's going to move on you. Let me fix that a little bit. Okay, let's try that. We're going to heat everything up. Flow some solder in there. And we heat the part, the solder is drawn toward the toward the gun. So let me take it off. And that should be okay. So I got seven minutes here. What I do now is inspect it with the, my magnifier because my vision is not too good. So I inspect it with a magnifying glass. Here it is here. Now the heat shrink kind of partly shrunk. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to show that, but what I'm going to do is use the heat gun. You really don't want to try to melt the rest of the heat shrink with with the iron. It's going to melt the heat shrink and make it lousy. But I have a heat gun, and I could hit that with a heat gun to shrink the rest of the heat shrink and make it look nice. So that's how I replace a capacitor, and uh, I hope this video came out okay. So uh, take it easy. Bye.